Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can upload your own image to use as the background of a list item card in your Squarespace website like this. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace so I can show you how to create this effect step by super simple step. So here we are in Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1 because we're using an auto layout section, and those are unique to the latest version of Squarespace. Now I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you exactly what I mean by an auto layout section. If you select add section and click on the people pre-made layouts over here on the left, you'll see a little eye on top of some of these page sections. That eye is an indicator that this is an auto layout. This is the type of section that you want to select. You'll notice not all of the sections here have that icon. So make sure you grab one that has the eye. That'll allow you to add an image, title, description, and even an individual button to create this list section. I'll go ahead and select done, and we're gonna navigate to design and then custom CSS. The first step in using an image for the list item is going to be uploading the image to our site. So I'm gonna scroll down here and underneath the CSS panel, you'll see a button that says manage custom files. I want you to click on that button. Here, you can drag and drop the image that you want to use for the background of your list item. I'm just gonna drop that right there and it'll upload to my Squarespace site. Now scrolling down here, I've got the code that we're gonna use for this tutorial. It's a very simple code, but we're gonna make some adjustments. So I'll start with the basic one here and I'll paste it right here in custom CSS. Now I'm gonna remove the text that says image URL here. I'm gonna click manage custom files and then I'm gonna click on the file. That's gonna paste the unique URL for that image and check it out. We now have that textured background for our list items. Pretty cool, right? Now there are a couple of other settings that we can do here, but the one thing I want you to pay attention to is background size cover. I selected cover because that will resize the image automatically so it covers the entire element here or the list item in this example. We can also say contain, but you'll notice if I select contain, I'm gonna get a repeating image here. It's gonna stack itself vertically because that's how it's able to fit the entire image inside the particular list item. The image size isn't the same specifications as the size of the list item. So that's why I like to say cover. Now, if we scroll down a little bit further here, I've got another example down here at the bottom. And what I'd like to do is actually target just this list section, not this list section. So to do that, I'm gonna grab the data section ID. There's a free Chrome extension that I use to get this information. I'm just gonna click on my Chrome extension right here. It's linked in the description below. I'm not an affiliate, just a fan. I'm gonna grab that data section ID, turn off the extension, and here at the very beginning of my code, I'm gonna paste that information and then add a space. So now it says section, data section ID, a bunch of numbers, then a space, then period, list dash item, and then the code that we've added. Now, if we scroll down, you'll notice this is no longer getting that image background. It's only being applied to the list items in this specific section. Pretty cool, right? Now, if that's all you wanna do, we'll go ahead and select save, but I had one more code I wanted to share with you, and that was creating this list item background image using a PNG. We've expanded on the code a little bit to give the background color transparency and change its position. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our code. I'm gonna select manage custom files and I'm gonna upload a PNG background image that I have to use for this tutorial. Now copying this code right here, I'll paste it into my custom CSS. We'll remove image URL here. I'll click manage custom files and select that background image. Now let's scroll back up and we can check it out here. There we go. We now have the PNG background. So what we've changed about this code is that we added two more lines. We said background position center. I wanted to make sure it was aligned in the center of the item. If I remove that little bit of code, it might scoot it over to the left or to the right or make the background image not perfectly centered, which is what I wanted. And then I also added background color transparent. If I remove that line of code, we're gonna see the background color for the list item card. If I paste that code, background color transparent, all we're going to see is this PNG image. So we get this rough edge of the particular image that I've uploaded for this tutorial. So definitely add these two additional lines of text if you wanna use a PNG image for the background of your list item. I have listed this whole thing in the description below. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. 
Alrighty, those codes I just used are listed in the description below along with each one of the steps that we just went through so you can follow along to create the same style on your own Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. And if this is your first time trying custom CSS for Squarespace, definitely head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. I have a quick video there that will teach you the basics of CSS so you can customize even more. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.